So happy spring. I'm here in a park taking a walk. This is part of my um, Try to Get Healthy series. Uh, this episode is devoted to being healthy. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of salad recipes. Yes, you can make salads interesting. But I just wanted to talk about, even though there's new leaves on the trees, get out, hit the path. The, the, the leaves will eventually get here. The flowers are eventually going to get here. I hear the birds singing. The sun is out. Get on the, hit the path. Um, take a bicycle ride, take a walk, take a run. Just get out and get active. That's what I'm trying to do. So up next, we have salad recipes. Come join me on the path. So the first salad that I'm going to show you how to make, it's very bulky, but it's really good and has protein in it. It's a kale, onion, protein salad. The first step is to cook the quinoa. Now quinoa, um, you just got to bring it to a boil. You want to have double part water, so it's a two to one ratio. And I already, I already cooked this, so this is a two-thirds water and one-third quinoa and you just want it fluffy and it does take you know 10 minutes usually to cook that so then the next thing we're going to do is make the salad dressing this is just a simple lemon Dijon olive oil salad dressing so I don't want to waste this beautiful zest so we are going to put um, purple cabbage in it so I'm just going to go ahead and zest you want two lemons I'm just going to go ahead and zest it before I use the lemons for the salad dressing. And normally, normally you don't want to put the dressing on until you get ready to serve the salad. But because kale is so hearty, I'm going to make the salad dressing and comp compose the salad right now. And you can let it sit in your fridge for two or three days or maybe up to a week. What we're going to do is we've zested those two lemons, so we're going to use that as our acid. Uh, you, if you don't have any lemons, you could also use vinegar. So we're going to put about, uh, with this it's a half, uh, one to two ratio. We're going to use a little more olive oil. And it depends on how juicy the lemon is. It's going to be just perfect with two. Because this, wait till you see how big this kale salad is going to be. So now I'm going to weigh the oil. So you want about four tablespoons. This is about three tablespoons. You could use two or three tablespoons of your acid. And then I'm gonna try to put about four tablespoons. And then I'm gonna use about one to two tablespoons of a nice Dijon mustard. And then I've got this in a container where I can seal the lid. So just make sure it's sealed and then shake it. And if you wanted to use this for other salad dressings, just throw it in the fridge. Um, now I'm gonna give you a really good tip, at least when I learned how to do this, um, it really helped. The key with any salad is you want it clean, but you want it dry. So let me show you what I have for that. And they have these in most grocery stores, most department stores, they have them on Amazon. This is a salad spinner. So what I'm going to do is just rinse this off really well. Maybe a little drop of soap. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. But I have all kind of chopped kale in here. So you want to just... I'm going to put just a drop of soap in it. Hold your hand over it and just drain the water. Kind of squeeze it. Kale is very hearty, so it can take a lot of abuse. What we need to do is keep spinning it. So with the salad spinner, it's centrifugal forces, and look, it's already almost dry. So I'm just going to do this a few times. And look at the water that's at the bottom. Whoa! You don't even realize that much water is even in there. 
Somebody and knows. find yourself a really big bowl. And I found one that this is just a regular, you know, it's in the same aisle where you buy um, lunch, you know, where you can seal up your lunch containers. Uh, but you want something that seals really well. Because this does have a, I'm putting onion in this. So gosh, this is, it was a whole large bag, maybe a pound, pound and a quarter of kale that's rinsed, as you could see, and washed. And this is going to be really full, but it's going to reduce down as the dressing kind of works its magic. And if you see any brown, like there's, this is organic. So, you know, it doesn't have the chemicals that some things do. So if you see any brown ones, you want to take that off. And the same thing with these stems. These are kind of fibrous. They, they won't hurt you. You can eat them, but they don't taste that great. Okay, so I've got the kale ready. So the next thing I'm going to add, I have about four cups, really finely chopped, of purple cabbage. And then I have about 10 ounces of shredded carrots. You can shred it yourself, but it saves a lot of time and effort. A cup and a half of chopped fine parsley. And I have one red onion. I have my quinoa. Now that was a third of a cup of quinoa, and then you put two thirds of a cup of water. Now something else, after we put the dressing on, something else you're gonna want to have reserved um, I have about a fourth, about a third of a cup of raisins, and I have about a half of a cup of pepitas. You could also use sunflower seeds, but I'm going to put that on after the dressing so it kind of maintains a little crunch. You could even wait till you serve it and put it on individually if you want. And I forgot to mention, uh, because I didn't put this in the salad dressing, I am going to put a little salt and pepper. And that's just a matter of putting the dressing on and shaking it all up. Then you want to put the lid on and shake it up. So we have us a huge kale salad. I did have to put it in two different bowls and they say that you massage kale and that's what I had to do. Got to get your fingers in there and just kind of get everything incorporated. So you also want to give it a taste to see if you need any more pepper or salt. So that's also what I'm going to do now. And the longer this sits, the better it's going to taste. Pair this with a nice juicy piece of grilled chicken and you've got a real um, protein powerhouse. Kale is so good for you and it makes a really nice salad. The longer it sits, the more flavor it gets. Mm. There's so many layers of flavor with this. You taste the lemon in the background, you taste just a hint of that Dijon. You've got the onions. This is a meal on its own. So give it a try. Up next, I have uh, another really nice salad. So salad number two, you don't even have to turn your oven on. Um, this is going to be a tuna salad. And I have these cute little glass, you can find them on Amazon or in a lot of different stores. Uh, they seal pretty good. I personally like to just use crackers. I'll use like a reduced um, fat or reduced calorie. Um, these are just happy belly, that's all I have on hand right now. But they're whole grain. Uh, they're thin wheat crackers. Now you could put this in a pita pocket, like a whole grain pita pocket. You could do, also do the traditional, um, put it on two slices of toast or bread. This time I'm actually going to show you, uh, I'm going to position the camera, I'm going to try something new. Let me know if you like, uh, I'm doing a top down uh, video and I'm going to actually just go ahead and show you some I'm, I, again, I'm not an expert, I'm not a chef, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you everything this time. I'm gonna chop some things up. Okay, so wow. the first thing I'm gonna do is chop some onions up. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do. 
colors all around, but I don't see anything but blue. Get lost in the sound, go back to the start. Let's go out of the dark. With the dressing seem to be a little strong, so I usually use shallots. And remember, I recommend measuring this when you're using olive oil. We're also going to have it, I have organic maple syrup, there, I just have a little left, so I'm going to use it for the dressing. So the first thing we're going to do is add some olive oil. And I'm going to use the salad dressing for a few things, so about four tablespoons. And then maple syrup, say about a tablespoon. And then I actually have, because we're going to put apples in the salad, but you could use any nice balsamic vinegar. I actually have red apple. So I'm going to put two tablespoons. And see it's the thick kind, but you could really use any vinegar. Put comments if you want something changed, if you like the new format with that. So onto the salad. That, um, a really good salad is the spring mix. You can also use a romaine based. Um, you can even buy the romaine heads and chop them up. This is just a, I love the organic. It's triple washed, non-GMO. 50-50 or just regular spring mix is usually what I buy. Very economical. I think this is um, like four or five dollars and you get a pound. And if it starts to go bad on you, like if it starts to get a little mushy, put it in the freezer and use it in um, frittatas and stir fries. So I put a little towel usually to keep the moisture out and it, it will last in the fridge, gosh, a couple weeks most of the time. So remember today we are making a strawberry chicken pecan with cranberry salad with, and we made the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So that's the dressing. You wanna just have it in a container with a lid that's really tight and you just mix it up and use it as you need it. It is gonna be really thick because the balsamic and olive oil is a little thicker than your normal like cream based. Get you, get you invest in, I mean this was like four or five dollars and it has a lid, you can keep it in the refrigerator. So you wanna just invest in a really nice container. It could be glass, it could be plastic. So you wanna just kinda fill this up. You see any real, you know, dark spots, just throw that away. And it will wilt down once you put the dressing. But also remember I keep cooked chicken in the freezer. So I pulled this out 
and I actually put it in the freezer in chunks. So this is cooked chicken. You can omit this completely and make this a vegetarian dish, but I have about seven ounces. Put as much in as you want. You could do a half a pound uh, of chicken. And I'm just going to throw that on top. Chopped up chicken. I also have chopped up cabbage. I have about a cup of your favorite onions chopped up. I had a combination of red onion and sweet vendelia. Just chopped up. And this is a time saver. Organic shredded carrots. It doesn't have to be organic, but I've looked and a lot of times the organic is not that far off price wise with the other. So I'm just going to put maybe cup, cup and a half. Now at this point I want to put about a cup of strawberries in there. And remember, I think in one of my other videos, I showed you this nifty little gadget that cuts it for us. So all you have to do is take the tops off. And then it just slices it. And I'm also gonna put an apple in. Now you don't have to have strawberries and apple, but I like the contrast of the sweetness. Just remember, um, you could throw in berries, you could just use blueberries, raspberries, just the strawberries, or just an apple. Um, I want the sweetness from both. Uh, the one thing with salad, you wanna try to have a little bit of sweet, a little bit of tart. So that's what the balsamic dressing is going to do, and the shallots. And then I'm also gonna use about a third of a cup of cranberries. I highly recommend that these next two items you measure. This is uh, unsweetened, but it still has, because any dried fruit seems to have a lot of calories to it. Now this is the real killer here. This is, uh, you can uh, take, this is pecans. This is honey roasted pecans. It's about a half of a cup. And actually I'm gonna put the dressing on first because I want the pecans to stay crunchy. Now, you, if you don't have the honey roasted pecans, you can take regular pecans, walnuts, whatever your nut of almonds, uh, whatever the nut of your choice is, and just roast it at about 300 degrees until you start to smell them, maybe five to seven minutes. So I think I'm gonna use about half the dressing and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it. Give it a good shake. But make sure that lid's on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the pecans in. So I hope that you've been inspired by this salad edition. Just remember, um, put your own stamp on it. Uh, whatever fruit you like, whatever protein source you like, experiment. Uh, salads can be really exciting and they can be your main course. Uh, instead of putting chicken in that last salad, um, the pecan chicken salad, I could serve a big chicken breast on the side or any kind of roasted meat. Um, so just keep that in mind that think of it in terms of uh, a meal, not just a side. So I've been enjoying salads and the warmer the weather gets, the more I'm gonna be having a lot more salads. Um, one of my favorites is to use mandarin oranges uh, and to make kind of an Asian dressing with uh, soy. Um, so I hope I've inspired you to kind of get creative with your salads. Just make something that you like and um, thank you for watching my salad episode and have a great week. See you next time. Perfect.